ready. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back. It's your boy. Are you guys ready for some more slam dunk? Reaction, terabyte reaction to house man. Listen. This match is intense. It is intense. I had to bring the hoodie out. You know what I mean? Of course you guys don't know what I mean. I talk all kinds of crap. <laughs> but anyways, slam dunk is here once again. Today we're starting with episode 58. Shoku versus Kainen is at that stage right now. I think the last reaction I did, we had the Mackie turn up. You know what I'm saying? He was proving why he's the number one. He's number one in 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 high school or whatever. Um. So yeah, man, I'm looking forward to see how they're going to handle this. Akagi. Came back out like a G. I don't know why my hoodie is threading. Because it's literally brand new. And I'm pissed about that. Because usually when, you know, I mean, it's not anything high quality or anything. I just want stuff to be good. If I spend money on it. Okay. But anyways, hoodie is fired nonetheless. Um, yeah, man. So I'm looking forward to seeing how they're going to wrap this match up. I'm still looking forward, as I tell you guys, I'm still looking forward, man, for Sakuragi to get a good offensive play in. I want him to dunk on Maki. If he dumps on Maki, everybody gonna start treating my dude with some respect, man. And he's definitely, as I said, best defender on the floor right now, hands down, right? Best defender on the floor, held it down, um, so Akagi could come back. Akagi is playing like a like a beast on a bum ankle. You know what I'm saying? Um, so respect out to Akagi as well. Kurukawa turn up episode man was fire. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Had me screaming like a girl. <laughs> really felt like a fanboy, like one of the cheerleaders <laughs> in the stands. Rukawa, Rukawa. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, was cool to see man and. I'm a fan of basketball, huge fan of basketball. I, I think it's, basketball is literally the only sport that I watch these days. So, um, I'm a huge fan of basketball, man. Huge, huge fan of basketball. So, I'm like that. I'm stressed out. Like, when my team is playing in the playoffs, I can't even sit in my chair like this and watch the game. Like, I can't. Like, I, I have to be standing up. Like, I'll be standing up like this watching the game bro i'll be <laughs> like i the whole game i'll be watching the game just like this like just <laughs> yeah no wonder i have back problems <laughs> you know what i mean so that's just me let me fix my camera real quick see my big ass head no yeah didn't fix but whatever i'll fix it for the 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 the, the reaction um it, it's just it, it's nutty to me you know what I'm saying? It's nutty to me. So it's, I, I, I just love the sport. So when I see great plays, unexpected things happen from, from players, that is my reaction. But in any case, let's jump into these episodes. I will see you guys for the review. All right, so that was uh, was very heartbreaking. <laughs> I did not expect Shoku to lose. I really, I didn't expect that. Um, this is kind of like the same situation that happened in 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 you know another anime that I've watched. Uh, it, it's tough to talk about it because. They really, really made us believe that Shoku was going to come back and win this. Like, I'm talking about the way how they structure the animation and everything. The, the tension, everything. Like, everything that led up to that moment 
and it ended on a Sakuragi mistake, um, I probably would have made that mistake. A dude looks just like Akagi. Like, I probably would have made that mistake too. Because, I mean, other than the fact that they're wearing different jerseys, and, you know what I'm saying, him and Akagi could be twins, bro. And I think that's what messed up, messed him up, and him making that mistake. That was, was a good game. You know, it was a good game. You know, you can't win them all. You can't win them all. You want to, but you, it's just, man, that was, it was brutal. And I'm glad that Akagi, you know, didn't make him feel some sort of way about it. Just because he was already, like, punishing himself for the mistake. So I'm happy that he did, he just tell him, listen, you know, basically it is what it is don't cry man you know the the district finals is just getting started so that's what kind of had me thinking that this is not it for the team it seems like maybe you get two losses or something or, or i don't know or you get one loss if you lose again you're out or maybe something of the sort i don't know how the tournament structure is because i don't think they went over that with us so i don't know what it's like so it is a lesson, though. It is a lesson. I do think that the next time we see Sakuragi, he's going to be a beast. And the reason why I say that is because this loss is going to hurt him a lot. It's going to hurt him to the point where basketball is going to become somewhat of a, ve a focal point for him. Like, he's going to practice, practice, practice until, you know, he can't eat. You know what I'm saying? Until... You know, he, he's out of breath, whatever, right? It's going to become his life because just from that loss, you will see from a guy who was never really interested in basketball and to do it, yes, he got into basketball because of, you know, what's her name? Hariko, I think, right? From the, He got into basketball because of, because the girl that he likes, like, basketball and now he's experienced the loss of competition which is not about her anymore this this game is not about her anymore and yes he might still love the fact that you know what i'm saying to get her approval and to get praised by her is going to i don't think it's it's just about that anymore he understands what it is like now to be in competitive sports and lose it is not a great feeling it is not a great feeling and, you, and you're either going to come up better out of that situation or you're going to let it eat you alive and you never want to play again or you're not going to play with the same intensity ever again um you know so i i really do praise the anime for for for, for doing this because i want to I, I i it's not like i want to see them news but lose but it's a good narrative to have in sports anime you know your main protagonist or whatever you want to call it need to experience what loss is they need to experience that you can't just have your mc just never experiencing what loss is okay they just keep getting better and better not understanding that sometimes you got to take a l you know what i'm saying sometimes you got to rise up from that situation you know what i'm saying and become better right um so I'm glad that he's learning this lesson. Um, I didn't know it would have came here. Um, you know, um, because the game was so close and they could have had it. I thought they had it. You know what I'm saying? I really did thought they had it. But it's a good lesson for, for all of them to understand that, you know what I'm saying? I was thinking the stakes of it all, they wouldn't let them lose because I thought if you lose, you're out. Basically, Akagi... You know he's a he's a third year so he's basically you know this is his last year of playing high school basketball and he wants to win so bad he wants to get to the pinnacle he wants to know what it's like to hold that championship trophy and i get it you know what i'm saying i, I really do get it so um so yeah man great job by the writer of this anime to go with that anytime a a, a in competitive sports or you're writing a story 
and you write in a character that experience is lost, you know, it's always great to see because losing is a part of life, just like winning is a part of life. It's the it's in the same arena. It might not feel the same. Sometimes people cry when they win too. You know what I'm saying? Because of all the blood, sweat, and tears that you had to go through to get to that point. You know, so everything is a learning experience. Loss is a learning experience. You learn from loss. You don't, you don't, you don't, um, you know, you don't buckle to loss. You learn from it see it for what it is and you move forward so i'm glad that they did this narrative wise but it's i don't hear I, I i feel for them i really do and it, especially sakuragi you know he needed to experience this and, and and it's good that he's experiencing this in his first year and not in his last game of his high school career so hey man it's all good thank you guys so much for tuning in as always man this was a great two episodes i don't even know if i want to watch any more slam dunk today to be honest um because it's just going to be sadness coming up and i want to watch other things today so i'm probably going to postpone um my recording session for the for, for early access um and just release these two on youtube and then i'll probably tomorrow i'll record some more episodes and put them on um because i just like i don't know i know these next couple of episodes are not gonna be happy times happy times i know it's gonna be um i don't know i think it's gonna be kainan versus Rionin, right um i don't know if they're gonna show that match or not or are they just gonna show us the results i don't know but we'll, we'll see how it goes um but yeah man so great couple of episodes um yeah like comment let me know what y'all think, how y'all felt first time you saw this and they lost. How did y'all feel? Oh, I know. I, I, I'm, I feel for them, man. I really do. I was brutal. I, I really thought they were going to win. See you guys later, man. Peace.